Johnny Depp has received a seven-minute standing ovation for his comeback film at the Cannes Film Festival, leaving him in tears. The actor was visibly moved by the audience's response to the premiere of Jeanne du Barry, in which he plays King Louis XV. The period drama is Depp's first project since he was blacklisted by Hollywood following his ex-wife Amber Heard's abuse allegations in 2016. After a six-weeks trial last year, it was determined that Heard had defamed Depp and she was ordered to pay him over $8 million in damages. The pair later agreed on $1 million to put an end to their legal battle. At a press conference following the screening, Depp addressed whether he felt boycotted by Hollywood. When you're asked to resign from a film you're doing because of something that is merely a bunch of kind of vowels and consonants floating in the air. Um, yeah, you feel a bit boycotted. Do I feel boycotted now? No, not at all. What if one day they did not allow me, under no circumstances, no matter what, I cannot go to McDonald's because somewhere if you got them all in one room, there'd be 39 angry people watching me eat a Big Mac on a loop. I've met uh, Johnny Depp a couple of times. He's a very nice guy, but he sure as hell has taken way too many drugs. <laughs> I mean, what was he talking about? Uh, you know, artificial intelligence. There you have it. That's an artificial lack of intelligence. Uh, those two, who were they? Anyway, uh, the film apparently absolutely sucks. Mm. Uh, and it's in French, I believe. Uh, but that's not the reason it sucks. <laughs> uh, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think the... Yeah, well, actually, it is. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I think the, uh, the critical word for it is mad. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's his comeback film, and uh, he got this massive standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival, and it brought him to tears. Now, as I say, he, he, if you meet, he's a genuinely nice guy, but uh, you know, I know obviously a lot of women have problems with him for obvious reasons. A lot of men do too. Uh, uh, so, some men, but uh, a lot of people. Actually, you know, I do think there's a bit of a gender divide on who likes Johnny and who doesn't. So not at I'm all. Not, the I'm majority not... of his supporters are female. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. So That's what I just said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. She, she said the majority of his supporters, oh, okay. supporters okay. are female. Yeah. That was true in the, in the case. Yeah. It so, was bizarre. So th there's another thing here. The Cannes Film Festival has this long, long tradition. I know, I've been to hundreds of the damn things. Worst week of your life. Uh, they always start, the, the big film, it, it's always an absolute stinker. <laughs> it's the tradition. Uh, do you remember Grace with uh, Nicole Kidman, which was a yeah. terrible film? That opened the Cannes yeah, Film yeah, yeah. Festival. So this has now opened the Cannes Film Festival. Do you know festival. what? Another stinker. So, uh, you, you know, I, I, I don't want to get involved into the, in the argument about whether or not he's a wife beater and how many of Amber Heard's allegations were true well, and how many of his were true. You haven't got to get involved true. in it. But, but, it's been but, proven but, he was. but let's just say this. Whatever uh, the backdrop to this, there's a hell of a lot of love for him. No, but here's, here's the thing, though. This is what bothers me about this, is that, you know, I think John, Johnny Depp is a, an incredible talent, and blah, 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 that, but that's completely irrelevant to this. Mm. Uh, he, he got a seven minute. Seven minutes is a lot of standard ovation. It is. OK. Uh, I've been to Mamma Mia live. I know what a standard <laughs> ovation is. Seven minutes is a long, long time. I don't believe those people in the audience were giving him a seven-minute standing ovation because of the amazing film. Or they certainly were. Well. No. They were giving a standing ovation in this kind of very sort of uh, actory kind of sense of, oh, John is back. Now, whatever the, the Amber Heard judgment was, what we did get from that, you know, the, the, the wife-beating stuff, the licentious, horrendous, horrific, mucky, horrible, murky yes. lifestyle yeah. that this person led. That wasn't in dispute. That wasn't in yeah, dispute exactly. at all. All of this was factual stuff. There were video stuff and all sorts of other things. And yet, that's all completely ignored. It's yeah. like, oh, John is back. It's like, exactly. hang on a sec. E even if you were... Ne yeah, be neutral about be it. Neutral be neutral about, neutral. about it, completely. It shows a rank hypocrisy in Hollywood, I think, um, because people are so quick to forget, yeah, who would have thought it? Hypocrisy in Hollywood? Yeah, <laughs> who would have thought? thought with the Time's yeah. Up movement, the Me Too movement and everything. Like you say, wherever you stand on the amber, Johnny Think, let's not forget, she was also awarded $2 million in damages as a result of that case. Um, 
there were a lot of people, I think that there was actually a clip of Brie Larson, uh, which I want to show you guys now, actually, and we can have a little discussion about it afterwards. As a uh, sort of outspoken and very vocal um, uh, advocate for Time's Up and Me Too, I'm curious how you feel about Johnny Depp's film opening the festival, and do you plan to see it? You're asking me that? Yes. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't understand the correlation, or why me specifically? Oh, just you were on the advisory council, uh, celebrity advisory council for Time's Up. I think the Johnny Depp case has been very well played out in American international media. Understood. There's been some controversy about that film being chosen to play out of competition in open can. So I'm just curious uh, if you will see it and how you feel about its selection here. Um, well, you'll see, I guess, if I'll see it. And um, I don't know how I'll feel about it if I do. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I can understand her asking for clarity about why have I been asked this as like the only woman apparently on mm -hmm. the panel. That seemed a bit unfair, but actually it's because yeah, it she sense. was on the board of the Time's Up movement and for her to be there and not speak out about it, look, it shouldn't have to be a woman's job or an activist job to speak out about everything all the time. But for him to open Cannes Film Festival, knowing what we know about his behaviour, again, not saying that Amber Heard was completely innocent of everything that went on within that relationship. How on earth can somebody who was so <clears throat> loud, outspoken during the Time's Up movement sit there and go, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I have an opinion on it. Yeah. That's what really gets to me, and it, it, it gives a bad name to the, activists the, the, that I know. Good I, for you, good for you. I'm yeah. I, I, I completely agree, and, and I, found, I, I found it annoying the way she kind of... Well, I thought she was quite rude to the journalist. Yeah. The journalist had spelled Ooh. it out really easy Absolutely. to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm asking you this question because of what you've Correct. said in the past. Now, of course, she is there on behalf of the studio that she's representing. She knows that she's going to... She's kind of between a rock and a hard place because she's probably going to get a rollicking from the organisers of that press conference mm. if she says anything controversial that becomes the story rather than the movie she was promoting being the story. But I agree with you. you, you it's not real she, activism. She, no, You have not. to put yourself on the line. You either care or you don't but care. What do you do about Johnny Depp? Do we say he should never work again? Like, regardless whether he gets a standard ovation or not, his job is to act. And it's the job of film people to promote that. And There's a lot of actors out there who don't work and they haven't done something. And yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, but then what? He's so, made so, a lot of money. He, it, it, what it is, you know, JJ, you work in entertainment uh, reporting. It's not just about the actor. It's mm -hmm. about the name and the reputation. And he has built a career, not just on talent, but on his reputation, and he's paid he's for his value. reputation. He's well, also just got another twenty million for yeah. another perfume, you know, yeah. is, 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 which is called is Savage, Savage, by the way. Yeah. Sauvage. And by the way, guys, <laughs> Sauvage. Thank you. And by the way, this whole debate on Depp was shorter than the standing ovation yeah. that he received. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So last yeah, last point. Go. By the way, he sort of has. It is still blacklisted by Hollywood. Yeah. It's not making big studio movies. 20 mil, so. not enough. Well, that's, that's yeah, not no, the same as that's working that's in Hollywood. Thing. He's not making big blockbuster films. The studios are still not gathering around him. So I think he has been slightly harmed. Uh, but, I, you know, who am I? I, I sympathise with your viewpoint that he probably hasn't been harmed enough.